Hey guys, what's going on? Pickle Power here, bringing you Season 21, Road to Guardian, Part 1. So, in this part, we're going to go through... Uh, so in this part, we're going to go through and hopefully, honestly, do all four and get them out of the way. So, we'll see how far we get. Okay, so when you first start, there's probably a lot of these that you're just going to naturally start to click off just while you're leveling up just because they're naturally going to be there as you can see there's quite a few oh look at that chapter four not a lot but the first three chapters we have quite a bit so things like complete nephilim rift uh use the nephilim rift obelisk so go here use that do a regular rift that's one so complete five bounties that's just like say the five bounties of an act so these five here, you would just complete that. Uh, socket five gems into your gear. So as you continue, you'll get sockets and gear. So every so often, you'll just put sockets in. Just like this. And that's how you do that one. Uh, raise the blacksmith. So these three here, when you get your challenge rift, you'll go through here. Click on him, train, train him up, train him up, and then train her up. And you only have to get them to level 10 to get these ones, which you can get to without using DBs. You only need one DB from level 10 to 11 to get it passed. Okay, so two that we haven't done yet, kill Urzael and kill Belial, and then reach level 50. So as you're leveling up, you'll of course get to level 50 to get to level 70. So, let's go kill Urzael first. A good quick tip for this is when you're going to go kill Urzael, the map is very twisty-turvy. So, look for the bounty of kill Urzael. And that way, you'll know that you'll get him because, well, he's the bounty. See? Right here. And that way, you won't be confused because, like, he's not close and it's going to probably take a lot of wah, 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 to get to him. And then just so you guys are aware right now, we're doing this on T4. We're going to see if we can just bust everything out on T4. It should be easy enough. Okay, time for the Urzael fight. He'll drop down, give a little speech, hit escape, and now be on your merry killing way. Now, no matter how strong you are, this is one enemy that you're not able to just one hit kill. Like, you'll get him down to this point here. Notice how they're still attacking him and he's taking no damage. At this point you can one shot him though. Oh. Ah. And there you go. And the added effect of this being a bounty is this. I cannot carry more. Apparently I can't carry more. Okay. Now the last one here for chapter one is kill Belial. So we will go kill Belial now. Belial's fairly easy. His map is the exact same every time. Head up, head over, you're there. You may notice that even though I'm doing T4, I'm getting two DBs when I kill them. It's because of the Sage set that I've got rocking right now. So I've got the three piece here, which doubles the amount of DBs the drop. Good little thing for right at the very beginning, when you have nothing else. As soon as you hit 70, it's just a set that's there. You just have to talk to the blacksmith. And now kill all the minions. Now Belial's gonna come down, you take him out. And now he's going to go up here, get back to full health, and you take him out two times. Just don't die by him. If you die, you have to go out here and restart, and that sucks. Okay, so chapter one is now complete. See, nine out of nine objectives completed. So that's just a freebie. You get nothing for doing that one. So move on to chapter two.
So complete a Nephilim Rift on expert difficulty or higher. So basically just up your difficulty a bit. You'll probably be doing that as you level up again. Uh, craft a level 70 weapon. So even when you're level 1, when you get him here uh, with your challenge rift up, you'll train him all the way up. And then you can, whatever weapon, uh, generally speaking, leveling up, you want to take the best two-handed weapon that you can for your character. Generally speaking, it's going to be a two-handed axe. And then you're going to re-roll one of the properties on that down to have uh, up to a level requirement 30 taken off. So you can use level 70 weapon at level 40. Uh, fully equip a follower. So that's just, you know, put something in each slot here. Uh, raise the blacksmith to level 12, which you'll do naturally again with your challenge rift. Or when you hit level 61, you just need one DB to do it. Uh, get the cube. So I've got a video on how to get the cube. Generally speaking, you'll just want to go up to the ruins of Seshron here. And you're going to follow this up this way and go through a bit of a maze. It's going to be on one of these sides. And you're looking for the Elder Sanctum. You'll get into the Elder Sanctum and you'll just follow it until you find the cube. Easy peasy. Reach level 70, so just get to level 70, fairly simple. So we're going to go through and kill Magda. You can do this at level 60 or higher on hard difficulty. Uh, kill Zoltan Cool, level 60 on hard difficulty. So that should be fairly easy as well. Uh, craft a level 70 ring or amulet. So you'll go to the jeweler here. If you're playing the console, you'll want to go to the blacksmith. I don't know why they decided to make the blacksmith jewelry there as well, but the blacksmith is jewelry there as well. But on the computer here, you'll go over here, you'll say forge jewelry, level 70, just need one. There you go. And you got it. It's actually not a half bad one, but I like my uh, flavor of time, so yeah. Uh, So we craft our level 70, then replace a property on an item with enchant. Okay, so basically this one is just go over to the enchantress who in this act is up here. Click on this one, pick an item. See how this one has level requirement reduced 11? So like you can use this one at level 59, even though it's a level 70 item. Anyway, so you'll just click on something Replace, say OK, and choose. So in this case, we'll say this one. And that's how you do this. Now, there is going to be another thing here later. We'll just get it out of the way now because I know it's coming. You have to roll a socket on a weapon. Doesn't matter what weapon. It doesn't matter if you're going to use it or not. You just have to get a socket on it. OK, see? So click a socket, select property. So that's a chapter four thing. So I knew it was coming, hence why we did it now. Saves us time later since we're already here. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is transmogrify. So to do that, you'll come back, like you'll still be around the mystic here, and you'll talk to this. And you'll say, you know what, I want this to look different. So you'll click that and you'll say, like you'll still have this item, but I want it to look like the sacred harvester. So you'll pay the money, and there you go. Personally, one that I got that I really enjoy is this one. So it gives them the red soul shard in the head. So you do that, and that's all you need to do. Bam. Okay, so the last thing, we're gonna go kill Magda. So to do this, you're just gonna go to the road of Alcarnas. And again, just like with uh, Belial, it's a set map. You're just going to go down here. Going to cross over. You could either skip them, kill them, whatever whatever floats your boat. Generally, elites might be the better ones to kill as they have a chance to drop stuff. Then you'll head up here 
and run this way. And once you follow it far enough, you will get to here. Layer of the Witch. Click on that. And guess who it is? Everyone's favorite witch. Get out of the way of the big boom. And there's chapter two done as well. Quick, easy, and now after you do that, you get two pieces out of this set. So using those two pieces, when Haunt lands on an enemy already affected by Haunt, it instantly deals 3,500 seconds worth of Haunt damage. Whatever character you guys are playing this season, if it's the same one, you'll have the same set I do. If it's a different character, it'll have a different set, and it will do something different. Pretty much as simple as that. Okay, off to chapter 3. So again, Nephilim Rift on Master or Higher. Okay, so the next one is craft a gem of imperial or higher quality. Okay. So get out of here. Click on this. And just have to do one gem. I want to do that one. As I am an intelligence-based character, I might as well have more of those. So spend blood shards at Kadala. So this is easy. I have no blood shards, so I'm not going to be spending any. But you'd go to Kadala here. She's in each act, so you just have to find her. She's easily locatable on the mini-map because she's the one that has a blood shard as an icon. So you just look for that. Bam. And you just buy something from her here. here. So pro tip. You'd come to Kadala. You'd buy anything that's worth 25. So that's all the armor, offhands, stuff like that. Do not buy anything that's worth more. Jewelry is worth 50 and 100. Weapons are both worth 75. Don't purchase those as they are not really worth the amount to maybe get a legendary, maybe get the one you want, and be spending a lot of resource to do it. So what you would do is once you have 25 DBs, 50 of each other kind, and then a level 70 yellow item. You put that in here, you'd say fill, you'd put it in there, and you'd say transmute. Obviously mine failed because I, uh, I don't have 25 DBs, but that's what you would do. Just do that with weapons and jewelry. It'll be a lot easier to get what you need to get. So kill Queen Arana. Ar Arana? Kill the Queen Spider at level 70 on Master Difficulty. That's simple enough. Go over here. Back to Act 1. And again, she is the Bounty. So you would go there and just follow it all the way to the Bounty. Okay, a little fun tip about Queen Spider, whatever her name is. When you get here, you'll know you're in the right place because there will always be this walkway. It'll always come across, it'll always be there. It's always in the same direction, it'll always start down here and go up here. You'll never get to her from any other direction, always just this one. So if you're ever like up here, and you see it down there, you know that you've got to get over to go around. And if it's ever up here, say you're over here, you know you've got to go around to get to it. So just something to keep in mind with this check. Now kill her. And there she is. She's dead. Okay. So. Oh, we've done quite a bit here, actually. So she's dead, so the next one will be Kill the Siege Breaker Assault Beast. Level 70, a master uh, difficulty or higher. So to do this one, you're going to go to the map, go to Act 3. And then at the Rackies Crossing, click there. So once you get here, you're going to be crossing this real nice long bridge. It's basically the exact same every time. Maybe the way to go up and down is a little bit different, but everything else is the exact same. 
Like, you'll always be going the same way. You'll always get at the same distance. Stuff like this part up here might be a little bit different every now and then, but I digress. Okay, so there's the bridge. It's about that long. So, you'll go in here. You'll come busting out of the door. Take him out, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So I've done the first three, like Act 1, Act 2, Act 3 bounty caches prior. But that's basically just going to be, you're going to go through each act and do all five. And then you're going to talk to Tyrael, and you're going to collect the uh, challenge bags from him. So since I've already done the first three, I'm just going to go back and do four and five. And then I will catch up with you guys at the ends of those. So see you in a second. Okay, once you go through and everything with an exclamation mark becomes a green check mark, you would go through, go back, talk you to Tyrael. Here is your reward. You have finished all the bounties here, but more await you in other lands. Cool, so he'll give you a little toy. So he'll give you this, you go in here, click it. And a whole bunch of new things pop out. Lots of plans that you can get. All RNG. And we'll also need to get five of these. So you'll drop one of these from every bounty once you hit level 70. Take the one with the jewel on it. Take it here. Teach it to him. The reason you need to do all five bounties is because you need to go back and talk to him. And give him that, essentially. Okay, now to go do the fifth act. As you can see, because of the thing we did earlier, we've already got one of them down. Now we just have to do four more. So fun. Okay, and with doing this last uh, bounty cache, we have officially done everything in here. So, what, were, what was the last one? Extract a legendary power. Okay, so that one's easy. Just go over to the cube here. You say... Uh, first, very first one, extract legendary power. You'd say fill, you'd have it. You put this in here, and you'd say okay. I don't want to do that because I don't want to waste bounty materials on this, so I'm going to just salvage it. But yeah, that's basically how you would do that. Starting off in Act One, Fields of Misery. So they'll be the purple arrows. See if you put your cursor over it, it says his name. So you just follow the purple arrow. Oh, and killing these guys has to be done on Rift or on uh, Difficulty Torment 4. Just so you're aware. And here he is. So now you just kill him the same way you've killed everyone else. Quickly and easily. Pick up all his toys. And. Head on to the next one, Act 3. So you dead, and there we go. There's all four of them dead. Due to my also mishap earlier by killing one by accident. Oopsies. So after you're done killing them, kill Gom. So you'll know you're finally getting close to Gom because it's going to be this nice, long, regular corridor, always in this direction. He will always be at this end of it. You don't have to go from any other way. And you walk in and kill him dead. And then you say thank you for this. Oh, so the reforge a weapon property to a socket. This is the one I was telling you about earlier that I did. Uh, finish. Level 70. Okay, so again, just a regular Nephilim Rift on a Torment difficulty. Oh, kill Malthiel. So, if you're here to Goblin Farm, got a video on that if you want to go check it out, you would go this way, you would go this way and follow it in a nice big circle back here. 
you go to Mouthfield though, you would head out this way. So you'll know you're close to Mouthfield when you go through that little door. It's just this nice little straight stretch here. And Mouthfield is just past this portal. There we go. There's the midway point. He's gonna go in the middle, do a few more scary skills. And there he is, dead. First try. Heck yeah. If this is the first time you kill him from level 70 in a torment difficulty or higher, he will drop a nice little plan here for you. The Reaper's Wraps. So, depending on what you have, the Reaper's Wraps here, every time you get a Health Globe, it restores your primary resource for 25-30%. to 30%. So it's pretty good. If you're in a class that's running low on resource a lot, this might be a good thing for you to pick up just to help kind of keep it boosted. So after you kill Malthiel, reach GR... 20 solo. Okay. So this is also going to be my first GR. Since I started this character. So let's see if I can do a 20. Unleash your power. These creatures won't go down easily. Something else is when you start a uh, greater rift. Any summons or anything you have. Like I've got... Uh, the dogs and the gargantuan and stuff they they disappear so you'll have to resummon them so don't don't forget that if you forget to resummon them that could mean life and death literally and if you're playing hardcore it'd be a very sad mistake come on Ah, why, why are you nightmaring me? You're not that scary. Ooh, globes. Globes. It's a very busy little starting section. Ooh, more globes. Very busy over here. Hey. So through looking and figuring out, I have dis or I've uh, figured out that the blue enemies, the blue packs, give you three globes, and the yellow packs give you four. So if you're looking at it, wondering why sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less, that's why. Oh, that was a waste of a direction. This is the first time, really, that my uh, flavor of time gets to get used. I don't know, guys. I feel like we're going to make this one. Seems like it's going fairly well so far. It's not quite, but pretty damn close to a speed, too. Zul, the weird estranged brother of Zoltan Kuhl. Like, see, here's a blue pack. And one, two, three. Handy. That'll make this go by even quicker. Alright. Wow, I'm just getting all of the uh, 
shrines now. Ooh, perfect timing. So many globes, so little time. Huh. Am I gonna get this whole rift on the first floor? That doesn't happen often. Oh yeah, there it is. That'll put the rift over. Or Lash, my old nemesis. All right. So my very first, and you can tell because I just got a powerful. Talk to this chica, hit escape. And upgrade this. You won't be able to close these until you upgrade, so just best to get her done. Okay, so now you come talk to Auric. And he'll close this for you, and that's how you end it. You also gain a nice big chunk of experience. Doing that, I find, is generally going to be one of the harder things to do. That and killing Malthiel. So if you can do that, chances are you're doing pretty good. Use Kanae's Cube to upgrade. So yeah, that's how I talked to you about when I was talking about uh, Kadala. So you'll just use the cube to upgrade. Learn five recipes. So the last thing is to learn five jewel crafting recipes. So I will go collect the last three and I will see you in a second. This may or may not be the last one. So if it is great, if not, then you'll never see this. I lost track of how many I've done. So just in case. Okay, season four complete. So let's take a look at all of our toys that we just got, starting with the pet. So we just got the Mayan pet here, kind of looks like a Mayan pyramid type thing, if it were a monster. He's a big tank of a dude, needs to do a bit more leg day though. But a heck of an upper body. Never skip leg day. You'll look like this. You'll be so top heavy you'll fall over and start walking like a gorilla. Get all of our pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Don't need uh, that anymore. We'll give him those. And last but not least, what is our portrait frame we just got? Would be this one. Kind of like my rainbow one better. Although it looks like they're trying to really play into this whole like old ass earth style freaking earth bending type thing here. It's kind of cool. Going back to my uh, other one though. Okay guys. It's been a long time recording, had fun with you guys, so for now I am going to peace out. So remember to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and until the next episode, peace.